starting to be fall. September what? Uh, 14th. Yep, 14th, 2018. And uh, we are traveling home from the grocery store. It's country living. Now we're driving back roads. Yeah. It's quicker and better sightseeing than. Trailers and trees and American flag. It's usually pretty nice down there, especially during Christmas time. Mm -hmm. Everybody display, lights display. really weird sound in the woods the other day, apple orchard. It was almost like a cross between a deer and an owl. Anybody like a know? whooping sound. It's which like would... a whoop, whoop. Anybody know what that could be? That was probably a wood booger. What's a wood booger? Well, from down south, a wood booger would be a Bigfoot. So I, if that was really weird, I never heard anything like it in my life. I couldn't figure out Bigfoot's what it was. Bigfoot's supposed to make a whooping sound like that. It goes, that. whoop. I go, I don't know. I don't know. It, was it really, wasn't an owl because I've heard. It definitely wasn't an owl. I've heard owls all my life. It was a mammal, but it was I, it was just weird sounding. So any of you hunters out there, unless well, it's it getting, was it's big getting time. It's getting time for the the deer to. Was it mating call of the deer? The deer breed in October, same as goats or anything like that. They get they go into heat in October. And, we're only a couple of weeks away from that, so could be a buck calling for a doe or anything. But if it's making a, a hooting sound, a whoop, or a whoop, whooping sound, that's supposed to be a wood booger. So I'm learning about all these. This is the kind of thing when you live out in the country, you hear about things you didn't ever heard about because, you know, well, like, what did we see today? We're walking down the road, or walking, driving down, and all of a sudden you see deer, a bunch of deer. The deer and the animal play. Not that there's any animals around here. And, let's see. We're wanting to plant some more Rosa Shirley. They're Rosa <laughs> Sharon. I call them Roses of Shirley. And we've been talking about planting some of those. We want some different colors. You know, we've we, got pink and we've got purple. I want some white. We could probably buy a collection. Oh yeah, you can buy them. It's no big deal. But we like them. But you, all you have to do is cut off a sprig and stick it in the dirt and it'll grow. Yeah, oh, water. We put it in some water and it grew like crazy. We ended up with a bunch of baby trees that we're going to plant. want to do a nice... Rose of Shirley hedge right down through the front. But it's got to be back far enough from the road because where we live in the winter they uh, throw a lot of salt in the, on the roads and if they're too close to the roads then the uh, snow plow throws salt on them and they end up dying off anyway. So you don't, you don't want to get them. And especially up near the edge of the road that's where the, the utility lines go down through there and if they have to dig something up and maintain it, then they dig your rows of Sharon's all up. So you're better off planting them back. Makes your yard look a little smaller on the inside. Makes it look nicer as they're growing too. Ooh, nice. sorry guys, that was a bump, bump, the dump. That was a like a ditch kind of thing in the road that we got to drive through. And we've been whining, I've been whining about pain in the arm. Make some more ibuprofen. It's Arthur, we think. We've been talking about the fall because if you see the side of the road where the corn is all turning brown. And the middle's green. You need to put it in an angle, dear. That's going to make them dizzy going by and looking at it. Oh, okay. That corn like You that. guys dizzy now? <laughs> okay, so this is the corn. See how it's green in the middle? And get a first frost and it'll all be brown. So this is New York, guys. See any gang gangs? 
See, this is upstate New York. It's farmland. We get laughed at all the time because people say upstate New York and everybody thinks New York is New York City. It's not. It's nothing like New York City. Fact, we out here is in the rural areas that you can see there's a squirrel running out in front of us. There's uh, there he goes. There are logs alongside the road where somebody's logging the timber lines. This is all country. And the thing is, is uh, it's just, we, it, I, we get a kick out of different things just because, you know, it's just so rural, but it's Everybody just... Everybody thinks we're right next to New York City. We're m hundreds of miles from New York City. Right. Hey, maybe we might even see a deer on this video. Cause we just saw it, three of them a few minutes ago. I'd say that almost every single time we drive back from the grocery store, we see a deer. At least one. Wow, uh, there was a doe with two, two twin fawns. So, it just shows you how often we see deer out here. A couple of bambies, they lost their spots. Why did they lose their spots? Because they have spots when they're babies. Okay. For camouflage, and as they get older, they lose their spots. And there were some nice red ones. White-tailed deer. And they turn red because they can hide in them cornfields and that without being detected. Now, whose farm is this? Is someone? This is Becky and Horace's farm. Yeah, that's what I thought. This is Kim and Marvin's Kim mother and, and that's, this father's. This is Clay's niece. When I first met Clay, as soon as I saw her, I saw her again. She was working in a store, like a little mini mart at that time. I knew she was related to Clay because she just looked a little bit like Clay. Beautiful girl. But as soon as I saw her. I'm not beautiful. Well, she girl. had your features, and also I missed it because I wanted pumpkins and tomatoes. I would have liked to get it on film, but you, it was not uncommon to see people hang their front their laundry in the front lawn out here on their front porch with a Chinese style with one string. You'll see that all around here. Very rarely do you see somebody with a bunch of laundry on laundry lines out here. It's always one string, isn't it? You know, it's like one string of laundry. My mother hung all her clothes outside. Mine did too. We had laundry line when we were kids. But, you know. We'd have to go out with the basket and load the thing up and bring it in. Yep. We had... She had a coat hanger with a... a bag sewed to it for the clothes pins. Sewing around the clothes hanger so you could hang the clothes hanger on the line while you were out there working. Now we had, my mother had like a steel. People now who don't even know what a clothes line is. I know, we had, my mother had a steel one and, or concrete it in the ground and you know like the four strings or whatever and then no, we hang our laundry just, that way. Ours was just a line hanging from a tree to another tree. The side of the house or something and you just went down the line and hung your clothes up and then there was a pole with a Y on the end of it and you stuck it up in the center of the line and propped the line up in the air so that the clothes could get up higher and the sun and the wind could get to the clothes and dry them quicker. So do you guys ever hang your, look at and there's Wayne County there and across the street is Cayuga County. We're in the county line. Here we are coming on up here to our house. Up here in upstate New York, and we live in the town of Butler. We don't. Well, no, we, we, live we up, don't. We live in the town of Wolcott. But we're not too far from here, from going home. Now, whose house is that? I'm not sure. Okay, I'm sorry, I was getting it confused. It used, to be, it used to be Scotty's. Yeah, so I was getting confused with somebody. Who's and this? This was his brother, Randy. Randy still lives here, though. Okay. Call him Uncle Randy, because it's my grandson's uncle. Uncle Randy. And then there's uh... Peggy works the opposite shift I do because I haven't seen him in months. Okay, so they all both work in the same factory, which... But I'm being on 12 hours, you're on opposite shifts. Just to kind of give you a little heads up. Let's see. What's that guy doing with that little truck there? Yeah, 
lot of old equipment. Uncle Butch. Uncle Butch, it's a girl. They call her Uncle Butch. And uh, I don't even know exactly why they call her Uncle Butch. She's a single woman, but she likes... She this. wears a ball cap on backwards. Oh, yeah, she wears a ball cap on backwards. There's a sawmill up here for logs and stuff. Kind of neat to see. We knew a couple of people that worked there. And corn again. This whole area is corn. Corn. There's your mailman. Oh, the UPS man. Hey, UPS man. We probably got a box on the porch. I hope we got something from you today. Mr. Brown. <laughs> I was supposed to get my other movie today. Oh, maybe you got another movie. And look at this fresh produce. Yeah, but he doesn't deliver my movies. The mailman does. One farm stand. There's lots of farm stands all around us. People set up farm stands. Little farm stands. And these are apple trees. The apples for sale. Another little farm stand that says apples. Yep, he's selling apples. And then... All the apples across from our house. They're Empire apples. And I love Empire apples. And now we're coming to our house. Here we are. And, and we got a, we've been working on some stuff. We got things to do. Got some junk out front we gotta clean up. Don't see any boxes. And the UPS man didn't come see me today. But that's okay. Because I got work to do anyway. I got a car full of groceries. Still early. FedEx can still show up. FedEx man may come. Because I'm a sweepstaker. <laughs> so you never know when she comes to the house. Some days they come, some days they don't. What's the other guys walking over? Looking at them cars. Yeah, looking at the neighbor's cars. Okay, guys. We will see you in the next video. Take care and God bless. Bye-bye.